Hey everybody, welcome to Offshoot Comics Off Topic with your host, Kirby Kid. Simply Cedric. Also known as David Clark. Cedric Harris. And today we're talking about the final chapter of Demon Slayer. Uh, Cedric, it was it was a good ride. And yeah, I knew people, like, people kept saying that it seemed like it was going towards the end, and people were okay with that, you know? Yeah, no, I I uh, I really liked how it told its story, got in, got out. Um, it's not trying to do a cash grab or anything. Plus, it was very well told. Um, so, I mean, I was pretty much hooked from the first couple issues and just burned through them. Definitely. Um, when I first read about it, but then as I was getting week to week, I was looking for each week. It's like, oh, what? Well, What's gonna happen now? Muzan's doing this, and Tanjiro's learned this. What's gonna happen? Right, right. Uh, I mean, I, it was. Oh man, it, I, I loved the fights and how you know it took, it took teams that you know no one was super duper overpowered and stuff. You know, um, you know, and I, I I loved how it treated its characters and how how like Shinobu um, and the uh, the uh, uh, Tamayo, how even like. A hundred characters after they had died, <laughs> were still screwing with Muzan, like mm-hmm. from beyond the grave, you know, like like yeah. I just can't yeah. get yeah. rid of these people, like they still over here, like they're still killing me somehow, you know. I, yeah. I did like that, <laughs> uh, and I, I really love when I love when uh, at the end of the the fight where the last panel showed a cityscape in modern day, and I was like, yo, what? Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and it, it was cool to see the, the you know the, the the kids slash reincarnation and like you you can you can through the kids you can kind of tell like who got with who and you know and whose blood is yeah. continued the other day you know. I I like that because um I know in reading some of the volumes like uh in one piece of the SBS is like the the stuff at the end that the author adds in um it's her it it's a a woman wrote this or did this right yes yeah she she would had these things about like them in high school like oh if tanjiro was in a modern day high school he'd be like this or if uh rengoku was in a high school he'd be like this and i i kind of like how she had had that like actually in the manga um which is like one of those things that you know well if you read every single page of the volume oh there's these little tidbits you get at the end um, but definitely seeing, uh, like Zenets- Zenetsu's, uh, family, his right. family definitely have traits get passed down. Hey, the cool thing um, is though, it looks like he got Nezuko though. It did. Yeah. Like he, 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 he worked hard. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, he put in, he put in that work. He, he did put that work in. Put that work in. He, he's still a crybaby, but you know. That's true. Realized I, his potential. I hear cry baby, but he got babies though. So, <laughs> like, <laughs> um, and, and uh, I, 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 it looks like Tanjiro and uh, Butterfly Girl got together. Yeah. Uh, which was, yeah, that was kind of obvious from the jump. That that I like the. Uh, well, yeah, that was obvious. I like the joke about uh, Inosuke. I yeah, like, he's still. A, that's a man. Right. That, that, that's that's cool. Um. Uh, now the weird thing is, it looks like Tanjiro's descendant and Nezuko's descendant are dating, so that looks a little weird. Uh, but I guess like generations away. Yeah, like it's, it, yeah, it's been long enough. Obviously, you know, it's been yeah, dating near a thousand years probably. Yeah. Uh, or or maybe maybe a few hundred years, but it's been long enough that I don't think it's you know <laughs> an issue. But it just it was just it felt a little weird. Thankfully, the guy who looks like Tanjiro was not dating her though. Yeah. Because that yeah. would have been super awkward. <laughs> that, that would have been weird. But that that's one thing I liked about uh, Demon Slayer. It, kinda, it leaned in to its themes. You know, it leaned into its storytelling. It was all about killing Muzan, and they killed Muzan, and then that was it. Yeah. Um, but uh, I, I, I'm, still, I'm still shook to this day by the Flame Pillar dying. Because when he died, you're like, dang, anyone can die at any point. Right, because you, you think they, they, they'd give a pillar more time, but they didn't, you know? No. Um, by the way, one thing I, I was really happy to see is, is that the uh, the love pillar and the snake pillar are a married couple running a business in their in their next life. Like they well, asked. Yeah. yeah. 
I yeah, was happy about that. Yeah. No, I, I I totally agree. It was it was cool because their I mean their last wish as they're dying, pretty much is like, hey, you know, hey, and hopefully our work here will give future generations of our reincarnations time to be together. Right. Which was that was cool. I I love what you said in your in your next life. Would you take me as your wife? And I was like, don't cry, David. Don't, <laughs> don't do it. Um, you know, so I thought, I thought, you know, it was, it was very good. And the cool thing is like, uh, what's his face? Uh, the, the guy who was the assistant to, uh, to Mayo, um, he's still alive. Oh, yeah, there, there's still a demon around. And he's, he might not be the only one. True. Cause they didn't, they didn't kill all the demons. They killed Muzan. Yeah. So this does leave it open for a modern day demon slayer. Uh, you know, because just because they beat the bad guy, the breath techniques have not disappeared. And well, you know, yeah. it'll be crazy though. This would be super nuts. Is if to to make sure the techniques were preserved, what if all the uh, remaining uh, pillars and demon slayers taught their styles to that demon guy? The uh, uh, to, I, I keep putting his name to Miles' assistant. Yeah, if they yeah. taught it to him. So that if the need ever arose, he would still be alive and could pass it on to other people. Well, and not only that, but there was that one tribe, which it, it was it was cool. This it was funny to see the sword makers' uh, descendants. Yeah. And they looked exactly the same, but like <laughs> their face were the masks, which was funny. Right. Um, but like they had those machines that knew uh, breath styles. Right. Or could like a train again, so there could be modern day versions of that. There very well could be a Boruto sort of situation right. with this. Um, I mean, Tanjiro and Rengoku's uh, the Flame Pillars descendants. They're super athletic. Right. Like they're running around late to school, just, just barely jump fences. over the fence. Yeah. Yeah. So and, and obviously. For, right, and for all we know, dude, like that village that made the swords, they might still be uh, active. Yeah. Like they might, like they might have kept that going. You know. Um, now, I think the most realistic thing for a sequel would be that the government finds out or some group finds out about demons and tries to weaponize it. Because, like, with, with Muzan gone, demons are just trying to live their lives at this point, you know? Like, yeah. so I, like there, are, there might be the odd one here or there trying to kill people, which is probably how they're going to get found out. But for the most part, they're probably just trying to blend into society and be super rich and powerful, you know? Yeah. Um, but I, the inciting incident I can see is the government or someone trying to screw up, screw with it, and make super soldiers. Or uh, another demon trying to defeat sunlight. Yeah. Um, but I, I do like that. Um, was it Tamayo's assistant? He, he's just painting her over yeah. and over and over again, and it's just like uh, in honor of the woman who saved my life, right? And, and helped defeat. Uh, no, the King of Demons. Yeah, dude. Um, I'm just gonna paint her for eternity. Yeah, no, I I, I really liked how it ended. And I, I like that we had to see, hey, it turned out okay. You know, Tanjiro's dead, which means he never became a demon, so that's good. Um <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You know, like I'm happy happy to hear about that. Uh and uh it just it just turned out very well. And like the the, the ride, the ride was a, it was great, man. It it, it, it was a phenomenon, and I, I can't wait to see how it all looks in animation, because oh, I mean, yeah. they made fights that weren't even that interesting look amazing in, in the anime. So I can't wait to see what the mm. moves on fights gonna look like. Mm. Yeah, yeah, the uh, like that drum guy, that oh, I wasn't yeah. that impressed by it in the manga. Like I'm like, oh, it was interesting. Like Tanjiro was learning how to fight, but in the anime, that it, they did a really good job of it. Yeah, definitely. Now, like my my one thing that I'm that I'm I'm worried about when it comes to the anime is how are you gonna top Lisa's opening for season one? Like that song is fire. They you just have to go a completely different direction um, because it's like with One Punch Man season two they tried to get close to it. It's like you know you're not recreating that same thing right um and you know being like a, a fan of one piece like i am it's like you know just get it get a whole new people because there are songs that get like one piece openings that are performed by the artists in like huge stadiums and people freak out over it but like no get a whole new whole new group new singer new band just 
do something different because you're not going to top it. Exactly. Now, I think, speaking about about, about One Piece, I was thinking the other day, when One Piece does eventually end when I'm 80 years old, um, (laughs) I have a feeling that the anime, like, like the song that that they're gonna go out on is probably gonna be "We Are." Oh yeah, and I can I already know that you're gonna be crying just crazy <laughs> man tears, <laughs> just singing along "We Are," you know, and uh, and I'm I'm sure it's gonna end with 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 Luffy seeing some kid that wants to be a pirate or whatever, and he's gonna tell him, you know, if you want my treasure, you can have it. <laughs> That's everything I have in one piece, and it's gonna end oh. like that. I- <laughs> I think it's even going to be sadder. I think it's going to be Brooke. Brooke's telling the story of the pirate. Oh, King. that's right, because he's not going to ever die. Yeah. Oh, um, that that would be super sad. Oh. Yeah. So, like through through quarantine, I've had a chance to rewatch uh, the best arc in One Piece, the uh, Water Seven and his lobby arc. Yeah. And they go back to the original We Are opening song. Like they for Eni's lobby, they didn't do a new song. Like no, we're going to go back to We Are. And we're going to play it again. Oh, man. Cedric, could you imagine if Brooke is telling the story and, and you know, like, he, he, he's, like, trying to hype the kids up to, you know, be pirates or whatever, and he goes, you know, and, and, and Captain said, if you want his treasure, you can have it. He does everything he had in one piece. And the last frame is a picture of Luffy's gravestone with the straw hat over it. Oh, yeah. It would be next to Ace and Whitebeard. Um, oh, my God. Cedric, the rest I, of the straw hats. Oh my god! I can see the anime community just collectively mourning for a year. Like they would say, you know what? No more anime for the next year. We are in mourning. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It, the the last issue of One Piece is probably going to take up all of Shonen Jump. Yeah, uh, it's going to be the whole book. It's going to be the fun. whole book. It's like Oda, just go crazy. You get the whole issue. Um, anime is like, oh no! All animation studios are going to be working on the final season of One Piece. Everyone, stop what you're doing. <laughs> Go work oh, at uh, Toei. Could you imagine if, if like UFO Table or, or or White Fox or any of them, if they did One Piece? Oh, bro, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be amazing, uh-huh. dude. But uh, yeah, I, I can see I can see it being a holiday when it ends. Mm-hmm. Like, a, <laughs> yeah, because um, like because by, by the time it ends, it's going to be the longest running like ag- um, uh, shonen manga in history at that point. You know. Well, and, and not only building off of that too, Demon Slayer is the first manga to outsell One Piece in thirteen years. Yeah, uh, One Piece has been going on for twenty-two years. In thirteen years, it has been the number one manga sold in Japan, and Demon Slayer outsold it, which is just a testament to how good of a story Demon Slayer is. Demon Slayer came, did what it wanted to do, and bounced. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, which I can respect that. <laughs> All right. Um, you know, and it's not like Dr. Stone where, you know, there's a whole bunch of different avenues that they could go from certain places. Like, oh, well, we did this. Now we're going to go do this. Right. Um, but I did like how in um, Demon Slayer, they had the uh, Grandpa Zenitsu's Lies in a book. Oh, yeah. Like one of his descendants was reading. He's like, are you reading th- those lies? Uh, the, and then... <laughs> If, you know, when we get that Boruto moment, someone goes, demons, you mean they're real? It's like, it's true. All of it. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> oh, man. But no, I, I, I'm I'm very, very happy with how this ended. Definitely, you know, Shonen Jump, you know, the author did fantastic. And unless it's going to be a new compelling story in the modern day, I'm actually okay if it ends right here. Yeah. And yeah. Very, very few stories that I like, I'm okay with them ending. <laughs> well, it just if it, it would be weird if it kept going because it's like, well, all those people that died, you know, right. all those people that died, the uh, the stone pillar, uh, he, he, him dying, him telling the medics, no, go save someone who has a chance to live. Like I'm, I'm done. Um, those all those deaths would be for nothing. Like right. if if you continued at the same time period, like right after they kill Muzan, it's like, oh, well, like. All those people died. All these super strong people died for no reason. Right. So I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm glad it ended the way it did. So definitely, it's great. If you guys have not watched Demon Slayer or, or read it, you know you're doing yourself a disservice. You know, 
it's not just all hype. It 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 has earned its place in oh, anime yeah. history, definitely. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, um, but that's it for me. Any any last thoughts, Cedric? Uh, no. Go watch and read Demon Slayer and watch One Piece. I mean, that first one, yeah, not that last one. But anyways, <laughs> until next time, guys. We've been your host, Kirby Kid. Simply Cedric. We'll see you later, guys. Later. <laughs>